Yeah, we have data blending. So basically, uh, what actually the data blending is? Uh, let me show this back. So I uh, have a just, uh, I didn't connect it to any of the database, okay? But the concept of data blending is similar to joins, okay? Whatever you have gone through, uh, the basic SQL uh, I just showed, right? So the data blending concept is creating reports or creating sheets in our case, creating sheets from multiple data sources. We actually know how to, how to uh, create reports basically using one database, right? We used to connect Microsoft Access database, Microsoft Excel. When you click on Microsoft Excel, and uh, you can go back to sample superstore data. Okay, and we can drag and drop a table. And we know, right, we just created some sample reports like subcategory wise sales or region wise sales. That way we, we are, we are, we are gone through like a uh, few more concepts like creation of filters, like groups, set, actions, parameters, perfect. So the point here is, Basically, we have uh, we have an option to create reports using multiple data sources. This is one of the important concepts in Canva. Okay, I mean, let's understand this. Way, okay, uh, I have there are different different cases. So we'll get data from one region. We used to get data from another regions, or let's let's say we have some uh, something like a subject areas, right? So let's say we have customer information or we do have credit card information and you may have loan information, you may have incidents. Those departments are different, but you have to perform a join between the tables using some customer ID and you will get the information of all the subject areas, correct? So that way, instead of going to join between the tables within the same database, let's say we have orders table and if you want to join using people table, you can do that. You can perform a join between the tables between within the same, within the same uh, database, right? Database tables. But I'm not saying about the join, okay? What exactly I'm talking about is joining the tables. I mean, officially it is join, but connecting the tables from two different databases, that is what we recall as data blending, okay? There are a lot of things actually to understand. Uh, let me try to showcase a few set of examples, but anyhow, I'll repeat again. If you look into this orders table, right? If you look into this tick mark, you can see, there's a blue color tick mark, correct? You understand here? There is a blue color tick mark, which is a very small icon. Okay. So whenever you are going to connect to another database, how to connect to another database, there are options. Even you can go back to data source. You have options to add here or click on data. You can see new data source or in the sheet one itself, you have an option to add a new data source. Let me add Microsoft Access. I'm just going to pick an uh, example, but I'll go through in detail, okay? Uh, we have my, my table repository and data sources. And I have some sample copy chain, okay? This helps actually. So, so I connected to sample copy chain, understand it? And I will drop a fact table here, okay? Only fact table. Uh, instead of fact table, let's go with the complete query, copy chain query, right? Sorry, I'll drop the complete copy chain. Understand the data, okay? I'll tell you what exactly I'm doing. So I have two tables, okay, sorry, two databases, correct? So if you have two databases, when you, let's try to understand, okay, I'll repeat again. When you drop, let's say, go back to sheet two. Now, do we have any symbol here? So let me try to uh, give a proper naming convention, superstore, and uh, this is sample superstore. Let's use superstore. For copy chain, I'll, I'll use copy chain. That way you can easily identify those things. Do we have any tick mark here, any symbol in the sheet too? I didn't create anything, right? Yeah, no. Okay, if I drop, if I drop one of the column from coffee chain, you can see there is a tick mark, right? Yeah. Let's go back to sheet one. I use subcategory wise sales and you can see there is a tick mark here for Superstore. So when you drop any of the column for the first time, let's say I drop state from copy chain, this will become the primary data source. So there is a concept called as primary data source. And there is a concept called as secondary data source. 
okay step by step try to understand but you can ask like why should we join as i said right there are different subject areas we should prefer joining between the tables to get combination of the data i mean i need to fetch some set of information from coffee chain and some other information from other database okay i know this is completely different databases here but in general in real time there are some applications right we have to go for uh, join but here we don't we are not talking about the naming convention join officially it is joining but we don't use the naming convention join we do called as blending and there is an alternate concept there pablo introduced in 10 plus version that concept is called as cross database join okay so i will compare both the results what actually data blending what actually cross database join go back to here so as i said when you drop any of the dimension or measure this will used as a primary data set how will you understand this by using this blue color tick mark but when you use both right let's say i wants to when you click on coffee chain you can is able to see the coffee chain related measures right some budget cost budget sales profit margin these are related to coffee chain and we have market product but when you click on superstore the data is different as you know right we have region segment product customer name and we do have discount profit but you can see there is a symbol right you can see there is a linking field i'll tell you what exactly this is but when you click on superstore and drop any of the measure let's say i will drop sales you can see i was able to create one of the report called as state wise sales but i am using state from state from coffee chain i drop state from coffee chain and i drop sales from superstore data how to identify is if it is a primary data set okay if it is a primary data source you don't have any symbol right but if it if it is coming from secondary data source you can see there is a symbol to identify here with a probably the red color right you can see the red color tick mark here which is not ticker red in color but you can see right so you can see a blue color tick mark and you can see a red color tick mark when you drop any column first time that database will become as a primary and this will be a secondary data source but you can ask why we are getting this linking field this concept is called as blending how to identify that so there is an option called as data in the previous version there is a naming convention edit relationships so that most of the people doesn't understand so probably for the developers are aware of that but for the first time they might not know that this is related to blending but now tableau given a proper naming convention that you can see edit blend the relationships so what exactly the common column between these two tables right you can check from here data edit blend relationships and when you look into this right you can see clearly there is a naming convention called as primary data source and secondary data source perfect can we add multiple data sources apart from two yes we can also connect to another database i'll show you that but can we switch from primary to secondary here you can switch but it doesn't work let's say i converted primary to secondary we cannot switch but how to perform how to practically switch yes this is at sheet level now this is the main example i'm going to teach you to understand the data when you look into this data in the coffee chain see i'll come as i said this is on a high level i'll go to in detail so when you use coffee chain database and the state field how many states you are able to see how many number of records you can see from here in the bottom right bottom left side 20 rows correct this is coffee chain coffee chain state field okay how many records 20 i will type in here 20 create another sheet select superstore drag and drop state field into rows how many number of records we have here for superstore 14 correct we can see 14 and right here 14 and this so there is a difference between copy chain and superstore perfect in the copy chain state related information we have only 20 records but when you go back to superstore we do have 49 records 49 states data available in superstore understand right so that way i'm going to perform a join between these two i mean blending that's a relationship that is the reason why 
we don't use a naming convention called as joins when we work with data blending. Okay. So we have an option called as edit relationships. Can we use other joins or can we perform joins between these two tables? I mean, these two data sources by making use of other columns instead of shape? Yes, there is an option called as custom. You can see instead of automatic, even if you want to perform blending on top of these two data sources based on some other column. Okay, let's say you are aware of some other common column. You can also add here. But I will tell you what exactly how to perform and how to add multiple relationships, I mean, multiple columns to perform blending, okay? But try to understand what exactly data blending is, creating reports or sheets, okay? Creating reports or sheets from multiple data sources. The primary data source, you can see blue color tick mark. And here it is a red tick. Okay, and when you when you come back to this, what is the primary data source here in this in this particular sheet? Primary data source is coffee shop. In this data source, what is the primary data source? Super show. Perfect. You understand, right? So I can switch from primary to secondary or secondary to primary. This is at sheet level. We can perform blending at sheet level. I mean, you don't consider that this is take it as a granted. So when you use coffee chain as primary. Don't think that in all the sheets, coffee chain is not a primary data source. Okay. You can come back to other sheet. You can use superstore data. It's not mandatory to use both the data sources. You can use or you may not use, okay, to perform or to create some set of reports. Perfect. But this is one example where you can use one data source as primary. I mean, it's not considering, I'm not talking about primary and secondary, but I want to use state from one data source and sales from another data source. So that way you can perform the join. I mean, the internally it is join. Unfortunately, we didn't find any, I mean, we don't have any issues, right? We are able to see the data because of this linking field, okay? If I break this, can we stop? Yes, you, you can say mouse over, you can stop linking field. When you click on this stop linking field, see you are not getting proper aggregation, perfect. You can see the complete non-aggregated data. Clear all? Do you have proper data here? For each and every set, I'm able to see grand total of sales. If you stop this linking field, if you use this data as a linking field, you can able to see some proper aggregation. Whether this data is correct or wrong, that is secondary, but at least you can see some proper aggregation. You didn't find any duplicates or uh, the same uh, non-aggregated data when we unselect this, right? Perfect. So I'll tell you what exactly, uh, I mean, the details of data blending the advantages of data blending and we'll compare, we'll, we'll go through one of the report, one of the best example. As I said, this is the best example, okay? Let's say in one database, we have only 20 states. In another database, if you have 49 states, if I want to create a report, how many how many number of records we are going to show? If you perform inner join, how many records we will get? If you perform left join, how many records we are going to get? If you perform right outer join, how many reports, how many records we are going to get? Every option, right? And each and every uh, scenario, we go through that using these two data sources. And can we add three data sources? Can we add four data sources? And what data source will become primary? Apart from primary and secondary, do we have any other option? So those options for sure will connect in the morning and uh, we'll go through those options, okay? So I'm not going to start uh, all this. I mean, as I said, right, I'll repeat again and uh, we'll come back to what actually blending what is edit relationships and how to use custom fields that apart from state can we add other fields and uh, we'll also use uh, multiple another data source like if you have three do we have one primary and uh, one secondary and what about the third data source right? so we'll go through each and every options in the next class okay